Dear student, myself Digan Sakhiwala. I am your science teacher. Today we will learn chapter number eight, motion. We will continue from the last part. Today we will learn about two point that is called retardation and acceleration. Okay. Whenever you hear the word acceleration, then you automatically remember about the accelerator. So what is the use of accelerator? It increases the speed of vehicle. Okay. Same with the definition of acceleration is what the increase in speed in unit time is called the acceleration. Okay. So other definition is also given change in velocity in unit time is also called the acceleration. So initially my velocity is less u whenever I am on the bike initial my velocity is less u. After some time my velocity is increased so my final velocity is v. Okay, so my velocity is increased that is v and my initial velocity is u, v greater than u. At that time a equals to acceleration a equals to v minus u by t. The change in velocity in unit time that is called acceleration. Here v is the final velocity and u is the initial velocity as well as v greater than u. So this value are positive. Last time we learned. Last time we learned the unit of velocity is meter per second, time is second. So by multiplication we get unit of acceleration is meter per second square. Okay, meter per second square is the MKS unit. CGS unit is centimeter per second square. We learn about the MKS and CGS in the first our discussion. In day to day life we use the word kilometer per hour. Okay. Now, where you experience this thing acceleration when you drop any object from high rise building at that time this object is continuously very fast going towards the earth that is the acceleration okay or whenever you are on the top position slanting are there okay and from that uh, whenever you are uh, going downward direction on the bridges at that time your velocity continuously increase so we can say that we are in the accelerated motion now next quantity is called the retardation simple thing in retardation negative of acceleration is called the retardation so increase in velocity is called the acceleration decrease in velocity is called the retardation okay decrease in velocity in unit time that is called the retardation retardation in that Final velocity is less than the initial velocity. So V less than U. Suppose I am traveling on my bike. I am going on my bike. My initial velocity is 30 km per hour. Okay. My velocity is 30 km per hour. So I apply suddenly brake because of some condition. So when I apply the brake, my vehicle come in the race condition. At that time, my velocity is became a zero. So my final velocity is zero and my initial velocity is 30 km per hour. So because of that reason a equals to v minus u by t where v is less than u my final velocity is 0 my initial velocity is u so 0 minus 30 divided by whatever time in that I apply the brake so value of acceleration is negative when value of acceleration is negative that is called retardation okay dear student whenever you see in the vehicle at that time speedometer are there speedometer indicate the speed odometer are that that indicate the how much distance covered by an object okay so acceleration when represented by the negative sign then it is called retardation and whenever we write about the retardation no need to write about the negative sign okay last time we forget to discuss about the uniform speed uniform speed means in equal interval of time if any object maintain its speed then it is called the uniform speed uniform velocity for the equal interval of time if object maintain its velocity then it is called the uniform velocity and what is uniform accelerated motion in the equal interval of time if object maintain its accelerated motion then it is called the uniform accelerated motion okay dear student we are going to learn now graphical representation of motion okay so first we will learn what is graph graph in that you know that horizontal line are there that is called x axis okay on x axis always we will take the independent quantity like time temperature 
here o is given that is called origin it is represented by 0 comma 0 0 is for x and other 0 is for the y y axis perpendicular line is are there that is called the y axis okay it is called y axis and on the y axis generally we take the dependent quantities okay generally depend on the other so we take the dependent quantities so on the y axis we take the distance and on the x axis we take the time we take the time in second and distance we will take in the meter so whenever we draw the graph of anything okay where well, okay at that time we come to know the motion is uniform motion or the object is in the race condition or it is a non uniform motion or it is the accelerated motion that we can know so we will discuss here the first graph see here when no time zero time i cover 6 meter distance after 2 second i cover 6 meter distance after 4 second i again cover the 6 meter distance after 6 second i again cover the 6 meter distance after 8 second again i cover the 6 meter distance and after 10 second i again cover the 6 meter distance only so you can see here Time is vary, but here all the time the distance is remain same. It means that object is in the race condition. So suppose in exam it come that if the graph is parallel to the x axis, then which type of motion it is the the object is in the race condition, race condition, and it is the object is in the stationary state. Okay, this is the first graph. Second graph distance versus time graph, distance versus time graph. 0 time I cover 0 distance, 2 second I cover 2 meter, 4 second I cover 4 meter, 6 second I cover 6 meter, 8 second I cover 8 meter and 10 second I cover 10 meter. So means here what happened in regular time period I cover the equal distance in equal time I cover the equal distance so whenever you get this type of line linear line then you can say that it is the uniform motion okay so this type of motion is uniform motion okay now see about the third thing on uh, y axis I take the distance on x axis I take the time now see here I am here on 0 minute I did not cover any distance at 2 second I cover 2 meter distance at, uh, at 4 second I cover 8 meter distance drastically increase then on the 6 second I cover 6 meter distance and 8 second I cover almost 5 meter distance and 10 I am in the stationary state means all the time all the equal regular time period I cover the different type of distance it is not same all are different so this type of motion is called the non-uniform motion whenever in the graph you get the zigzag type of line that is a non-uniform motion dear student we will discuss here one special thing initially in distance versus time graph in distance versus time graph at zero time I cover the zero meter distance at 10 second I cover 5 meter distance 20 second I cover the 15 meter distance and 30 second I cover the 35 meter distance so I can draw the graph like that parabolic graph are there so dear student you can check here time is always the uh, time is what regular interval is same 10 minute 10 minute 10 to 20 20 to 30 but here you can say that 5 to 15 means 10 meter difference are there 15 to 35 how much difference are there 20 meter difference are there so whenever you get the graph parabolic means it is the uniformly accelerated motion we will further discuss about the graph so we will discuss about distance versus time graph velocity versus time graph okay and its application so first graph is distance versus time graph in that uniform motion are there in this graph on x axis we take the time and y axis on that we take the distance in 10 second object cover 5 meter distance in 20 second object cover 10 meter distance in 30 second object cover the 15 meter distance in 40 second object cover the 
25 meter distance so always we find that object cover equal distance in equal interval of time so this is the uniform motion now what is the use of it by distance versus time graph we can easily find the speed of the object how for that to find the speed of the object we have to draw the slope here now what is slope we select two point here we select two point one point is a and c you can select any two point on the graph so i select here one point a and other point is c i make the right right angle triangle so that is a b c okay so how we can find the speed speed equals to slope a b upon b c now a b is parallel to y axis so when we find parallel line then we get a related with 20 a related with 20 b related with b related with the 10 so 20 minus 10 so this is what this uh, difference in the di uh, distance so we are writing here delta s delta indicate the difference in the distance so we are writing delta s now bc bc is parallel to x axis okay bc is parallel to x axis b equals to here 30 second and c equals to we have the 10 second 30 minus 10 so we get 10 divided by 20 so we get here 0 0.5 meter per second so this is one application of the graph by the graph if we find the slope between any two point then you can find the speed of the object second thing is that suppose i draw the graph and i want to know that at 27 meter at 27 meter what is my to cover the 27 meter distance how much time is required so you have to draw here dotted line and that dotted line you have to impose on this line and after that whenever you draw on the time then you at least get that 42 seconds are required so whenever you want to know that particular time period like if i want to cover 27 meter then how much time is required that is a 42 seconds are required that we can find okay so here two advantages are there in distance versus time graph in uniform motion you can find the speed as well as from the distance you can find the time and from the time also you can find the distance okay suppose uh, by 15 second in 15 second how much distance i can cover so what happened 15 second is here i draw here one line and i as i draw perpendicular line here then i come to know that all almost i can cover 9 meter distance okay so this type of calculation we can do by the distance versus time graph okay now we are switch on the velocity versus time graph dear student when we draw the velocity versus time graph at that time velocity we will take on y axis because it is a dependent quantity on x axis we will take the time because time is what here independent quantity so here on the x axis the time is taken okay time is taken 10 minute 20 minute 30 minute on the velocity here i take in the kilometer per hour i did not take in meter per second or centimeter per second because in general life we use kilometer per hour so velocity is 20 40 and 60 are there now when i traveling on my bike or in my car then what happened after 10 minutes i find that my velocity is 60 kilometer per hour after another 10 minutes means 20 minutes my velocity is again 60 kilometer per hour and after again 10 minutes means at 30 minutes my velocity is 60 kilometer per hour okay so always what happen here my speed is not continuously increase my velocity is not continuously increase but it is remain race continue means it is remain static common always my speed is not increase but time is increased but speed is not increased so this type of motion is called the non-uniform motion understand so when the graph of velocity versus time graph is parallel to the x-axis at that time the motion is the non-uniform motion we will take one example here here dear student we take the same thing same data 10 minutes 20 minutes 30 minutes uh, 20 kilometer per hour 40 kilometer per hour 60 kilometer per hour 80 kilometer per hour so dear student what happened at 10 minutes are there then i my speed or velocity is 20 kilometer per hour okay after 20 minutes my speed is became a 40 kilometer per hour and 30 my speed is became a 80 kilometer per hour so continuously 
my speed is increases my speed or velocity is continuously increases with the increasing time continuously so when the velocity is increases in the equal interval of time then that is called the uniform accelerated motion so here we get the uniform accelerated motion okay because with the time velocity is increased so uniform accelerated motion what is the use of this graph by this graph we can find the acceleration if we draw the slope for drawing slope i select any two points so i select two point here a and c and i make the right angle a b c so slope equals to ab ab divided by bc for ab what i do ab is parallel to y axis so a tends to 60 and b tends to 40 60 minus 40 so 20 bc bc is parallel to x axis b tends to 30 and c tends to 20 so 30 minus 20 10 so ultimately i get the acceleration 2 meter per second square so by drawing the graph we can find if we draw the velocity versus time graph and it is a uniformly accelerated motion then we can find the acceleration by the graph second uniform retarded motion so velocity here is taken and velocity is taken generally in kilometer per hour here okay so by the graph we come to know that initial initially the velocity is highest but as time pass as more and more time pass velocity is continuously decrease so velocity when continuously decrease it is called the retardation okay in this case what happened when time pass more and more time are there the velocity is continuously decrease so it is called the retardation motion or it is called uniform retardated motion okay by the slope we can get the retardation and if we find the value then value of the retardation will be negative okay so by this graph we can find the retardation value and the value is negative <coughs> here we will discuss about the velocity versus time graph velocity versus time graph in that if i draw the graph then each and every time each and every time the velocity are increase somewhere decrease again increase somewhere decrease so in equal interval of time velocity are not continuously increase or continuously decrease so I, it is not it is not a accelerated motion or retarded motion so we get zigzag type of graph so it is called non-uniform accelerated motion this is all about the application of graph if you have problem then you can comment me okay or you can send message to me